Go back to the world entry and exit. There's a couple things we can do here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this train station here. You will remember there was the Rocknut tribe member back here. Wow! Rude! Well, I guess while I'm down here, I'll do the other thing I wanted to go to the train station for. Now that the train station is open for business. Rude! Now that the train station is open for business... Chuffy is enjoying the attractions of Witchy World. Would you like Chuffy to pick you up? Yes, please! Remember that we saved the dinosaur from the Cave of Horrors exhibit? And then when we brought the train to Witchy World, the dino walked into the sidecar? Well, now if we summon the train to Pterodacty Land... Dinosaur will come home! Thomas is the hero of the day. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chuffy is the hero of the day. Choo choo! Yeah, this world is where we're gonna start seeing Chuffy get used quite a bit. I hope Mom won't be too mad at me. At least you came home. The Styracosaurus family cave has got another person saved. Thanks for returning my lost child. She'll be cleaning out our cave for the next month as punishment. That's what happens when you disobey the rules. The rules are there for a reason. Okay, Major not following us. Good. Fire the Clockwork Kazooie Egg and maneuver around to his back. Boom. Bah! All go shape of the pair, but still two of us left. Alright, so we've saved two of the Styracosauruses. The last one is a bit of a doozy to save, unfortunately. We're not gonna go there just yet, though. There's so much more to explore. For one, Bunga Bunga's guard is gone. So this will take us to a different cave. The Oogle Boogles Cave. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello. Uh, you should see someone about that stammer. B -b not stammer. F -f freezing cold C cave. No central heating. N no food either. Unga bunga tribe gu guard outside C cave. B please warm cave up and give f -f food. Y yo got the jiggy. But maybe warmth and food for first. Well, these guys seem like they're very nice guys. They want to share everything. So, let's use fire eggs to give them some bonfires. Until they can get the central heating guy in. Be warm, but still need food. Junk food, good. Actually, it's not here something. For Dragon Kazooie. Can we use... Oh, we can just use the Breath Attack instead. That's actually really cool. <laughs> Dragon Kazooie to the rescue! Me warm, but still need food. Junk food good. Then at the bottom here, to Witchy World, huh? I wonder where this leads. Well, we're back in Witchy World. 
This is a panel really high up in the Bunker 51 area. Unfortunately, if we actually fall out of here, we can't go back up. So... We can't do anything with this yet. But once we get a future move, this little shortcut will actually be imperative to helping out the Oogle Boogles. I thought for sure there were free Oogle Boogles. I am almost positive there were free Oogle Boogles. Am I just missing one? It's very hard to see in this room. Ah! Okay, so that leads back to Witchy World. I don't want to go there. There might be like a vine or somewhere we can climb in this room. Oh, there's a boulder in the corner. It's not very well lit. That's part of the reason why I couldn't see it. Okay, shock jump disc. Yeah. And then there's a crack up here. And I think this takes us to the third and final Oogle Boogle. Here we go. Don't worry, buddy. I got you covered. Be warm, but still need food. Junk food good. Well, look, I would love to bring you some burgers and fries, but unfortunately, Madam Grunty's a bit of a butt and refuses to let us take food outside of Witchy World. The Witchy World is literally the only place you're allowed to consume food in this game. I don't know how Grunty got a monopoly on that, but okay. Yeah, so we've, we've been able to heat them up, but we can't actually feed them for a while, so we'll have to come back for that. Anyhow, I completely ignored this entire... Ouch. I completely ignored this entire part of the level over here. It was not on purpose. It was literally just I forgot it was over here. This is where we're gonna need our trusty clockwork eggs. Oh, sweet. The green Jinjo family! Uh, did we get the jiggy for that? We've saved five of the Jinjo families, so we should have... No, we've not. No, we've not. We've only saved three. So we should have four jiggies from the Isle of Hags, because Gina Wing gave us one. Okay, good. It did. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure I didn't glitch the game and it didn't count as the Jiggy. He was saying, oh yeah, the green Jinjo family is complete. They'd like you to have the family heirloom, and then they gave me a Jiggy. But I accidentally wandered into the load zone. So there are a bunch of different holes we can enter, and it's a maze, but one of them will take us to the Rocknut tribe. And that's the one. So Rocknut's facing where Banjo is. Blow up his butt. Dog. I'll go shape of the pair, but still one of us left. Aw, oh. oh, yeah. Springy step shoes for the win. So there's a bunch of holes up here, but they all just kind of either lead to each other, and then there's the one that leads to the Rock Nut Tribe member. There's nothing else hidden up there. Alright. Now at this point, I, we never actually swam inside the- we went inside the mountain for like the caged hallway, but we haven't actually been into the main part of the inside the mountain. Which is the entrance to which is in the water hole, where Simba and Nala are hanging out. They're definitely not in the elephant graveyard, because that would be very foolish. Yep. 
this is the entrance. We've seen it many times, but this is the first time we're actually just wandering in. Again, this world is so big. There's so much to explore. And we're not even halfway done with it. All right. This whole area is basically just a giant water hole. There's a couple of gates that you can see to different parts of the level. Like, I think that's where the Cheeto Cage was as the baby T-Rex. But for the most part, it's just a bunch of... Eh. Oh, hey, it's a flight pad. That's what we need. That was weird. Banjo would not go up there. So we can use this to fly heavily in the mountain, but we're not going to do anything crazy. We're just going to fly to this platform in the center. Then we're going to springy step shoes up to the top here. Chomposaurus! Stomach cramped carnivore. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And we just got eaten. Yep. Welcome to Inside Champa's Belly. Can you hear me in there? I won't digest you if you help me out with my little stomach problem. Do you want to hear what you've got to do? I mean, sure. Yeah, this is the first person shooter section. These nasty blarg ulcers keep appearing from my stomach lining, and they really hurt. I want you to shoot them before they disappear again. Blue ones are worth three points, green ones are worth two points, and red are only worth one point. You've assigned points to your ulcers? If you can score 75 points, you'll ease the pain a lot. How convenient. Ready, three, two, one, go. So this is one of those uh, first person shooter sections that's actually pretty fun, because it's very tiny. And we can rapid fire a bunch of these guys. So let me get this straight. You know what color your ulcers are in your stomach, and you've assigned point values to them based on how much they hurt. Yep, pretty normal stuff, right? I would not say that, but okay. Oh, we gotta, we gotta pick up the pace. We gotta get 75 points. Also, what kind of he would swallows us? It's like, okay, well, I won't kill you if you help me with this problem I'm having. You could have asked us. There were nicer ways of doing this. This is what I, these are the first person shooter sections that I actually like. That are like short, sweet, but fun. I mean again, we're just holding down the Z button and running towards these guys, but still, it works! Wow, we tri broke triple digits. Wow, that feels better. I swallowed this awful thing earlier. Thought it was a biscuit. Please take it with you when you leave. Oh, thank goodness he swallowed a Jiggy. I thought it was one of those chocolate, <laughs> gold-covered chocolates. Do you want to play again? I have a lot of ulcers. No, no, that's okay. Good luck dealing with your ulcers, buddy. <laughs> we walk all the way back up his throat. Ugh. We, in these Banjo-Kazooie games, we go inside of people's digestive systems kind of a lot. Even more than Miss Frizzle. You don't have to be a jerk about it, jeez. So, I think if you want, you can fly all the way up to the top of the mountain, but... Where's the fun in that? We're actually gonna climb up the normal way. I thought I'd get a little more horizontal distance than that. So even though the, the Chomposaurus had his own, like, title and sub-description, he is not the boss of this world. No, we will meet the boss later. Oh, hang on. Ow, right? For, those dinosaurs are big, but, like, man, they can be tough to hit. Or maybe I just suck. You decide. Actually, please don't decide. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it'll unanimously be you suck. Mm. 
I feel like that this is a world that could have warranted more than five warp points, because two of them are really far away. We've only gotten three of the warp points out of the five on this level. Two of them are, like, extremely high up. Alright, next thing we're gonna do is uh, to deal with the final of the dinosaurs in the, Styraco the Styracosaurus family tree. We gotta split up and use our newfangled taxi pack move. Even though this dinosaur is clearly significantly bigger than our pack, we can still scoop it up for some reason. Don't ask how. Camera space. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring him to the train station and put him in the Chuffy's cab. Thankfully, the train station is very close to the cave. Thankfully, the caveman world has access to a steam train. How very industrious of them. Oh man, I love the <laughs> I love the pack whack double jump. It's so simple, but so nice. And yeah, as you can see, this is kind of demonstrating the power of the taxi pack. Now that we're in Chubby's cab, we're gonna take out our pack again. Throw the dinosaur down, and bada beam, bada boom, dinosaurs in Chuffy the train. And thankfully, there's a warp cloud right here. So we can have Kazooie, who is significantly faster than Banjo, run back to the train station. I gotta be careful. Kazooie has almost no HP. She only has five honeycomb bars anyways. But for some reason, she only has 2 HP when we split up. I don't know why. Every time you split up Banjo and Kazooie, they both lose HP. Then when you come to get... Oh, I guess they were missing 3 HP collectively anyways, but still. Alright, anyhow. Now that we've got the dinosaur on the train. Now that we've got the dinosaur on the train, we're going to climb up into the train and take it somewhere. We can go to Glitter Gulch Mine, Witchy World, or the ILO Hags. We're off to the ILO Hags. They said the shaman on the ILO Hags could help the dinosaur. And there's only one shop there's only one shaman living on the ILO Hags as far as I can tell, and that is everyone's favorite shaman, Mumbo Jumbo. So we're gonna call the taxi over here and Yeah, you'll remember that there was the mumble pad there that I'm like, we can't do anything with it yet. Well, this is why. You need this dinosaur in Chuffy's cab and Chuffy to be at the station in order for Mumbo to use that pad. Man, Chuffy's getting a lot of use in this world. One of the reasons I actually really like the idea of Chuffy, even if it probably wasn't used as much as it could have been, it, I still think it's used pretty well. Alright, we've been holding on to this global for a while now, but... Rude. Now it's time to actually use it. Welcome again, Baron Bird. We've well, got a Globo! Must give magic creature to Mumbo if want help. Want Mumbo's help? Yep. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Oh boy! Mumbo's come to save the day. Alright, we can now officially use this white mumble pad here. Hope this works. The IO Hag's ability for mumbo is 
heal the stick, the six Styracosaurus. Because it's healing power, you can't actually use it unless there is something to heal in front of them. And he goes from feeling kind of nauseous to being like, Oh yeah, I feel better now, because magic! Boom. Alrighty. <laughs> Mumble want to take train, leave Baron Bird behind. We. <laughs> Rawr! I feel so much better. Do you mind if I gnaw your leg a little? I healed you, you butt! Take that. What the heck? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that sign is there. Okay, I thought the sign didn't exist. But no, it's there, it's just in the shadows. Find the train tunnel door switches and other worlds to enable Chuffy to travel between stations! That is a well-hidden signpost. It literally doesn't look like it's there at all. That's incredible. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to end the video there, though. Or rather, the recording session. I knew Pterodactyland was going to take two parts, and that seems like a pretty good breaking way to... <laughs> pretty good break. So, thanks for watching, everybody! <laughs> this has been Mumble Jumble and Colorful Arty. Tune in next time! Tune in next time! We're going to take the train back to Pterodactyland and finish up what we can in that world. We we might be a little more than halfway through with the world, but there's still so much to explore. We haven't even tangled with the boss yet, and the boss is quite a thing, so... Look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.